Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Green Room Communications, and thank you for joining us. We're so glad that you're going to be coming to the conference, our first ever Women, a Force in Business from the NC Chamber on November 16th. I am actually in a hangout today with some of our panelists. Um, we have some great ones here. We have Billy Redman from Trademark Properties, Becky Jacobs, who is Chief Engagement Officer at Simple Change and Tammy Albrecht, who is Director of Operations at Wilson Art. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Well, we are going to give you guys a little bit of a preview of what you can expect at the conference. Um, we're really excited. It's sold out, so we're so glad that you got a ticket. Um, and I'm going to jump right in and give um, these ladies the floor. So a large theme this year is around women leadership and how to get there. Um, Billy, I'll have you start off. How important do you feel it is for women to be in leadership roles? I think it's imperative that women be in leadership roles. And, and the major reason is because we're different. Um, the, the great news is that men and women are different. We think differently, we approach things differently, and we have different characteristics and styles. So from a leadership perspective, we have the ability to craft new solutions and ways of communicating and ways of doing things, no right or wrong, no good or bad, just that it will be different. And for um, a, a good second reason is the fact that the dynamics of, and composition of our population is changing. As you look at the fact that more and more women are representing the graduates of college and post-secondary education and in the workforce. So it is imperative that we build leadership opportunities for women. Not just that we have women working or women uh, contributing in different ways across society, but the fact that they really must be in leadership roles. It is the right model for our children, both males and females, and it is an opportunity that's probably never been greater than it is today. I know that you guys are all obviously really successful women, and sometimes the road's not easy to get there. Becky, do you have a big hurdle that you've overcome at all professionally that's kind of helped shape who you are today? Absolutely. I'd love to share an example. Um, early on in my career, I had the opportunity uh, to take on a leadership position with a group that was uh, a very tight-knit group. They had been working together for quite some time, and, and frankly, there were some folks in that group that uh, were interested in the leadership position. So for me to take on that role when I didn't have the background in that particular function, uh, when I was coming into a call it somewhat hostile environment, uh, wasn't the friendliest environment coming in, and, um, you know, overall, it was, it was a challenge to go in and gain their trust, made even more difficult by the fact that I was 24, and they were all at least 10 years older than I was. So challenging in many fronts, but it really what it taught me was the value of building trust. You truly care about people who they are, uh, are there to roll up your sleeves and, and, you know, get into the weeds with them, but really um, being very genuine and be willing to say, I have no idea. I have no idea how to answer that question. I trust you. We're going to work together and figure this out. And it was, uh, it was a dramatic learning experience, <laughs> a lot of trial by fire. But it was, I'm so grateful for having gone through it because it taught me the value of, of building trust and admitting when you don't know the answer and how well that can really set you up for success. I see Tammy shaking her head. Tammy, do you agree with all that? I, I do agree with that. Um, oftentimes, um, people look to you to be the expert, and uh, and you're not. Um, you know, but, but you know how to rally a group of, a group of folks and and get get the get to the end that that you're after. So I agree 100 percent with that. And it, it's about the building trust. And I think that's something that as as a female that. Um, and I'm not saying men don't focus on that, but I think for women that is really an important component of any relationship is trust, and we work hard to build that and foster an environment of trust. I'm going to stay on Tammy for a minute here. This kind of goes hand in hand with your story, Becky. So we have a lot of attendees who are maybe mid-career or we have some that maybe are early career. What advice would you guys have for your younger self? Tammy, do you want to start us off with that? Oh, sure. I'd love to start that. Um, I started my career um, 
at the age of 19 um, and um, decided that uh, two years of technical college would be all I would need because I had settled that I would be some sort of administrative support for the rest of my life. Um, and so my advice to my younger self was don't settle. There was so much more potential in me that I didn't see, but thank God other people did. And that's why I'm where I'm at today. And so I, I would, my, my advice, to, at least in my situation, is just don't settle. Um, you know, reach, reach for that goal and, and don't let anybody tell you you can't get there. Um, and when you get there, don't forget the people that help you get there. Billy, do you have any advice for your younger self that you would give? Well, I, I, I would say when I think about that question, that um, mine would be, because I have probably a fairly similar story. Uh, first person in my family to go to college, didn't finish college, always been an issue for me. But I realized really the answer was to just be prepared. And there's so many ways to do that, regardless of your focus in your career or your endeavor, read, study, other resources that will help you be more informed, more educated, and that we really don't have any excuses not to be prepared in so many ways with the availability of education information today but it, but it requires a commitment um, I would like to add too that you know, don't underestimate the importance of a good mentor if you can find a, a person that's willing to mentor you somebody that you look up to in a leadership position um, by all means you know take that advantage um, because that that was huge for me as well still call my mentor today <laughs> One of the things that I discovered to that point is how much the relationships matter. You know, 10 years from now, you're not going to remember whether the, the decision was right or wrong. You're not going to remember that project. You're going to remember how people were treated and how you were treated. So if I could go back, I would definitely stress the, the value of uh, maintaining the relationships. It's not really about the, the challenge that you're faced with. It's how you resolve it. That really matters. That's great advice. Well, this is just a little bit of a preview of what you can expect on November 16th at our conference. I'd like to thank all the panelists here for joining me today just for a quick chat, and we'll look forward to seeing you at the Umstead. Take care.